Ahoy friends, welcome to Dory Dan Small Boat Adventures. So uh, yeah, this is the second uh, video in our trip uh, back from Gloucester, 2024. So uh, yeah, I made it out to the uh, breakwater here, just passing the red can at the uh, mouth of the harbor. You can see uh, the schooner Lannan is back there, just passed behind the can. And uh, a bunch of other uh, sailboats and fishing boats and whatnot out and about today. It's a uh, Thursday. Here comes a uh, party boat out. So yeah, busy day on the water and uh, a lot of activity. A little bit of a hazy day, blue skies, but there's uh, just kind of a low haze. And uh, supposed to be up into the 80s later today. It's uh, kind of cool right now, just like uh, 65, 70. Some fishermen out on the uh, breakwater. You can uh, see the windmills back there and yeah, just getting our last glimpse of town. I can see the uh, paint factory in Ten Pound Island, the uh, town hall. So yeah, hoping for an enjoyable sail back to uh, Newbury. We'll see how the wind holds out. It's uh, a little bit light right now. Supposed to be uh, 10 to 15 out of the south. I'd say it's probably 8 at the moment. Um, and then clocking around to the southeast later today. So that should be good for us as long as we can get around Cape Ann before it goes east. Might actually set the uh, flying jib here if the wind stays this light. Uh, we'll see. Just riding the swell from the uh, party boat at the moment. Got an outgoing tide, so uh, the tide should carry us out of uh, Massachusetts Bay and around Cape Ann. And about the time we get to the end of Cape Ann, I'm hoping the uh, tide should be uh, shifting at that point, it's starting to come in. So we'll see how that goes. It's actually uh, lighter breezes uh, out here than it was in the harbor, so yeah, just hoping this wind holds and uh, make it home by nightfall. Seas predicted our uh, one to two feet for the day, one foot or less in the morning and uh, one to two in the afternoon. So the biggest waves we're expecting to see today are probably gonna be the wake of that uh, party boat. 
Though there actually is a little swell coming in right now, a little ground swell. It's probably a two foot, but a very long, uh, very long period to it. Not sure the camera's even going to pick it up. Got the uh, full rig up, full sail, except for the uh, flying jib. You know, no reefs or anything, so. And I didn't have the flying jib up uh, because I've been working my way out of harbor directly into the wind for the past uh, hour or so. And we're uh, yeah, finally out of the harbor and able to ease sheets for uh, points north. That's the whistler buoy with the party boat wake. Should get a nice sail right along the uh, coast of Cape Ann here, uh, East Gloucester, Rockport. So uh, yeah, I'll probably start up another video once uh, once we get around towards uh, Good Harbor or maybe even out near Thatcher's Island. We'll see what the uh, conditions are like at that point. I'm actually trying out a uh, sailing glove, um, but uh, figures I, uh, you know, decided to try these out right when uh, I replaced the main sheet. I've got a temporary main sheet on. I had a uh, nice old uh, hemp line that I actually first sailed with as a main sheet on the schooner dory to the schooner races back in 2002, I think. So, uh, yeah. But that uh, hemp line, first of all, it, it uh, let go on one end, uh, right where it goes through the pulleys, where it sees the most wear. Uh, when you're kind of close hauled. And that's also where I uh, cleat off the line when the boom is in the boom crutch. You know, I tension the main sheet and cleat the line off. So it wore through there and I cut it off and uh, swapped the line end for end. And then uh, this year at the Schooner Fest, I noticed I'd lost a strand. And uh, once one strand goes on that hemp line, it's very uh, unpredictable. So I uh, yeah went ahead and just I had this uh, it's I don't know it's it's basically clothesline, but it's uh, heavier duty than most. Something that they sell at. Uh, our local hardware stores, but it was big enough not to get jammed in the pulleys, at least so far it's uh, running okay. And uh, yeah, I'd like to uh, swap it out with another uh, nice quality hemp line, or maybe we'll see what, what we can get for three strands as well. But yeah, so we're just using this for the trip back. I've got a couple extra lines on board just in case 
Uh, but yeah, should do, should do the job for today, especially if the wind stays this light. You know, we'll see. Yeah, the wind stays this light. I'll be worried about getting back before dark. I thought my problem was going to be I was going to need to reef down and maybe just run under jib and uh, jumbo. But uh, yeah, at this point, I'm just hoping to have enough wind to get us around the Cape. Oof. It's definitely lightened up since I got out of the harbor. Plus, I'm not heading upwind as much, so it's making it feel lighter anyway. But, uh, yeah, pretty quiet out here at the moment, but you can see we're going with the, we're going with the tide out of the, uh, out of Mass Bay, so, uh, that's a big plus. We got the tide with us. When you got this sort of wind and you're trying to fight the tide, even these coastal tides, like on Massachusetts Bay, it's just, uh, yeah, not a good thing. Probably about a knot of tide or so, a mile and a half per hour. So, yeah. There's Eastern Point Light. Passing the light and uh, starting to work our way easterly around Cape Ann, out to the tip of Cape Ann, and then we'll head north. Yeah, long day on the water if this breeze keeps up. I might even have to put in somewhere else. <laughs> Maybe put in at uh, Lane's Cove or something if it stays this light. I think it's going to fill in in the afternoon because it's supposed to be up near 80 today. So we should get a nice south southerly breeze in the afternoon, but we'll see. See what happens. Yeah, it really is southerly now. So, uh, almost southwest at the moment, really. Uh, there's Boston. I don't know if you can see the buildings on the skyline. And then uh, Nahant is that next little... Uh, area you can see it's closer with trees and houses and then there's uh, Marblehead and Salem and the power plant in Salem and then Beverly down that way so yeah but we're headed uh, towards East Gloucester and uh, Rockport and then making the turn north. Oh, there's Hammond Castle as well. And the rock off Norman's Woe from uh, the famous poem, Wreck of the Hesperus. Some uh, cormorants taking flight there. That is the train to Boston, which is downwind of us, and you can hear it, surprisingly. So you can tell the wind's not very strong. <laughs> but you can see we're moving. See the lobster buoy? We're going in the right direction. 
it would be tough trying to get you pretty much couldn't get to Gloucester today, uh, or at least right now. You'd have to wait for the tide to turn, carry you up into uh, up into the bay if you were trying to get into Gloucester. I figured I'd shoot a short video as we went past the uh, breakwater and all, and like I say, I'll uh, maybe start something up again when we get out towards uh, Rockport and Thatcher's Island and all, um, Straitsmith Island and the uh, dry salvages and whatnot. So yeah, uh, thanks for sailing along, and uh, see everybody next video, and Hopefully out on the water sometime soon. God bless. Have a great day.